hello everyone and welcome back to the common sense crypto channel as with you always this is rich doing another video today on xrp so i hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great great world we're gonna talk about xrp and once again this is the one day chart we're sitting here just above 54 cents and of course, we dipped right here because we found out that the SEC is going to appeal the judge's decision. The SEC, Notice of Appeal Against Judge Torres, XRP ruling. And right away, people think the sky's falling. That's it. It's over. XRP is not going to be part of alt season. They're all completely wrong. And here's why. Back in 2021... We didn't know whether or not XRP was a security or not. Now we got clarity. XRP is not a security. And this appeal does not change that. This, is, this appeal to me is just a deeper shakedown on Ripple. The SEC wants Ripple to pay more money. Now, back in 2021... XRP was also removed off of a lot of major exchanges. Since then, it has been relisted back on those exchanges. Nothing is holding us back during alt season. XRP will see a new all-time high. Because I'm sure there's going to be countless videos out there of people telling you this is the worst thing that could have happened going into alt season. They're all full of shit. Nothing is holding XRP back. Stuart Alderati put out this post. The SEC's decision to appeal is disappointing, but not surprising. This just prolongs what's already a complete embarrassment for the agency. The court already rejected the SEC's suggestion that Ripple acted recklessly and there were no allegations of fraud and of course there were no victims or losses instead of faithfully applying the law this agency under this chair continues to engage in litigation warfare against the industry we are evaluating whether to file a cross appeal either way the sec's lawsuit has been irrational and misguided from the start and we're ready to prove that yet again in the appellate court once again taking the lead for the industry coincidence that the sec's enforcement director announced his resignation about an hour before this yeah i think that guy filed this and then resigned i'll talk more about that in a minute brad garlinghouse had this to say if Gensler and the SEC were rational, they would have moved on from this case long ago. It certainly hasn't protected investors and instead has damaged the credibility and reputation of the SEC. Somehow, they still haven't got the message. They lost on everything that matters. Ripple, the crypto industry, and the rule of law have already prevailed. While we'll fight this in court for as long as we need to, let's be clear, XRP's status as a non-security is the law of the land today. And that does not change even in the face of this misguided and infuriating appeal. Remember, when the SEC tried unsuccessfully to file an interlocutory appeal, they made clear that they had no intention of challenging XRP status as a non-security. XRP is not a security. Nothing is holding us back this alt season. Don't let people FUD you out of your XRP. This comes from Tom Emmer, SEC Director of Enforcement, Gruel, Encourage Lawlessness and Chaos, at Gary Gensler's SEC. He even admitted it to us on the record in 2022. Good to see him packing his bags. He filed this appeal, apparently, and then stepped down at the SEC. What a coward. The SEC's 
approach of enforcing regulations on a case-by-case basis without setting clear industry-wide guidelines has been particularly problematic, and Congress must have the last word and settle these issues. The next U.S. president won't define crypto's future. Congress will. And that's why I've been trying to tell you all along Don't listen to the talking points coming from these politicians. It is up to Congress to do something. And you see right here. Meanwhile, Trump, who once called Bitcoin a scam, now vows to make the U.S. the crypto capital of the planet and pledges to fire SEC Chair Gensler on his first day in office. Although these promises grab attention, the reality is that the president's influence over the future of digital assets is limited. It is Congress that holds the real power to shape the regulatory framework for crypto. And that's why I kept saying, we need Congress to take action. Stop writing letters to Gary. Stop yelling at him. Take action against him. Get him out of the SEC. A study by Emory University found that SEC employees sell assets in their personal portfolios that come under investigation by the agency before the investigation becomes public, allowing SEC officials to systematically beat the market or insider trading. And you know, this is the corruption that goes on behind the scenes in the U.S. government. It happens at the with the politicians and then it leaks down to the sec and other agencies as well that's why when these people go into office they can't rub two nickels together but they come out multi-millionaires and that needs to stop as well but this is why the sec isn't going after nancy pelosi this is why nancy continues to make a fortune in the stock market This comes from Eleanor Tourette. Here's a little Easter egg from my latest piece on Bitwise Invest filing for an XRP ETF. Someone else incorporated an XRP ETF last week, as shown on the Delaware Division of Corporations website. Canary XRP ETF, and they're part of Valkyrie Funds. So it wasn't just the Bitwise ETF This was another one that was filed. Now, people are saying that these ETFs are going to get rejected at the SEC because of the appeal happening. But I'm not so sure of that. And honestly, I thought with these filings at the SEC, it made it clear that the SEC wasn't going to appeal. But we were wrong on that. You know, this is the part that pisses me off the most. Ripple is willing to pay $125 million to get this done and over with already. Why doesn't the SEC just be happy with the money and just let everything push ahead? But no, they have to tie up Ripple as long as they possibly can. And while this is happening, all around the rest of the world, things are moving ahead very fast. Crypto hubs are opening up in a lot of different countries, countries that you didn't even expect to have a crypto hub or become a crypto hub. But that shows you how corrupt the United States is. It's pay to play and they set the terms and how much they want for you to play in this country. Brad Garlinghouse just dropped a bombshell. He says this is only the beginning for XRP ETFs. Brad said this, first Bitcoin, then ETH. It was only a matter of time. This move underscores the growing trust and integration of digital assets like XRP into traditional finance, marking the continued adoption and maturation of the crypto market. I sense this is just the beginning. So Brad's expecting a lot more adoption to happen for XRP. And even this appeal should not be slowing that down because XRP is not a security. This comes from Black Swan Capitalist. 
For four years, I've stated that Bricks would use XRP, and I'm pleased to see this materialize. The key has always been interoperability. The future of finance in a multipolar world lies in bridging assets, currencies, and payment systems like Embridge through Ripple's protocol. He goes on to say, why did the BIS confirm the Saudi central bank as a full participant in Project Embridge while it also signed a blockchain deal with Ripple in 2018? It's because Project Embridge will be utilizing the XRP ledger given the unbiased nature of XRP itself. BRICS will use XRP. And do you honestly think that the BRICS cares about this SEC appeal? Absolutely not. They're going to continue to push ahead. Russia is going to continue to push ahead. All these other countries are not going to slow down because of an SEC appeal against Ripple. They are here because they want to use RippleNet's, RippleNet technology and XRP. Because it's a game changer. It disrupts the entire financial world. Why do you think banks want to use it? Why do you think all these partners with Ripple want to use the technology? Use XRP. Because it changes everything. It makes payments fast, cheap, and secure. And that's what the world wants. The digital age is here. We are going to be part of it just by investing in the right cryptocurrencies. We are going to get rich off of this digital transformation. And look at that. XRP is almost back up to 55 cents. I think it was a sell the news event. The SEC decides to file the appeal. All of a sudden, people start selling their XRP. I expected it to dip under 50 cents, but it looks like it's starting to gain traction once again. And we are going to experience a fabulous alt season as XRP holders. I'm telling you, don't fall for all the FUD debts out there. People live for this shit. They want to shake you out of your XRP. They don't want you holding the disruption. They want you putting your money into the distraction, which is Bitcoin. Because all day long, that's all you see on X. That's all you see when the mainstream media talks about crypto. They only talk about Bitcoin. That should be a great indicator on where XRP is going to go from here. Because they don't want you to get rich. They want you as exit liquidity for people like Michael Saylor and BlackRock. BlackRock is not going to tell you to invest in something that's going to make you rich. That's why you always, always put your money where the real value is. And XRP is going to turn around from here. And we're going to see a great alt season. I stress that because I don't want you to fall for the FUD. But until it happens, stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.